back to my channel i'm going to talk about stock chek check cap limited once again i covered this stock in my previous video when it was around one dollar i purchased this stock myself little about a dollar price and i did mention that this could be next to bio nanogenomics or bngo and stock also went from one dollar all the way up to two dollars and 93 cents now it came back to dollar 66 and i got a lot of questions around what happened to the stock i'll be sharing more analysis and research that i have done i'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence i'm just sharing my research and my opinion and my thoughts this is a penny stock. Penny stock has their own risks. If this works out, you can 10x your investment in no time. And this is why sometimes fundamentally good companies, if they are even a penny stock, they can do really, really well. And check cap could be one of them as well. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and also share this video with your friends and family. I'll be covering what the company does, how the stock went all the way up to $2.93, what are some reasons that it may have come down to $1.66, and why I am thinking that this could still go to $5 once again in future. Check Cap is a biotech company that has a product called C-Scan and they are redefining colorectal cancer screening and prevention. It's an innovative way to detect polyps that can turn into cancer and it is an alternative colonoscopy. It is not a replacement of colonoscopy but it's an alternative or a pre check uh, and why this can be a game changer because more than one third of the united states screening age population avoids procedures uh, such as colonoscopy there are some reasons why people avoid that uh, c scan has the potential to offer more patient friendly options for those who are not participating into colonoscopy screening and c scan enables people to get the screening that they need it is patient friendly no bowel preparation needed there is no sedation pain or discomfort there is no interruption of daily routine and their system offers cloud-based analysis suite that allows physician to analyze data anywhere there is no operating room needed to perform the screening and which is why it can be super convenient for the people who are not looking to do colonoscopy but they can use the c-scan product that jack offers and how does the c-scan work once the digestible capsule c-scan cap is swallowed it travels naturally through the gi tract scanning the inner lining of the colon c-scan cap actively communicates with the second element of the system that is called c-scan track which records and stores the scanning data the patient is notified and the screening data will be analyzed by the physician using c-scan proprietary software named c-scan view first element here of this application is c-scan cap that is an ingestible cap uh, it is uh, emission of ultra low dose of x-ray beams now there was some questions about like whether this causes radiation and is it harmful to human body but the research and the company revealed using their data that it is not really a uh, harm for the human body and will go through fda approval where everything will be considered based on the research data based on the process uh, that fda approves it also scans a uh, gi tract the second element of this application is C-Scan Tract. Three uh, patches worn on the patient's back, as you can see in this, uh, in this image. The integrated positioning, control, and recording system. And it continuously talks to the scap that is inside human body and records and stores the C-Scan caps information inside uh, the patient's body. And the third and the last part is the C-Scan View cloud-based analysis suite that allows physician to analyze data anywhere. Construction of 2D and 3D maps of the inner surface of the colon can also be performed and it is it allows the pre-analysis and bookmarking of the suspicious finding by an expert technician. So this is the application. This is what company does. Let's now get into the financial and the investment strategy of the stock why the stock is at dollar 66 and what happened when the stock went all the way up to two dollars and 93 cents if we look at the graph right here um, it is pretty uh, impressive graph december 31st the stock was below one dollar and from there it spiked all the way up to dollar 45 
uh, in between this many of us bought this 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 is when i covered chek in one of my video and i got a lot of good comments as well from you so once again subscribe to my channel if you have not already to get timely updates on this kind of stocks but from $1.45, the stock went all the way up to $2.93. Many of us might have sold it at that price. It's double, you could double your investment, double or triple your investment within just, just within a day. But this stock might be a long-term, good long-term stock, and I'll tell you why. The, then the stock came back to $1.55. It has been around that price range. The volume was 2.5 million on December 29 it went up to 14 and 24 millions on december 31st which is when the stock uh, spiked up on january 4th the volume all of a sudden spiked to 342 million the next day on january 5th the volume was pretty high as well 278 million but then the volume kind of came down to 47 million it is not super low yet to 2 to 3 million but it is not it is not as high as 200 and 300 million also the check cap stock was under a dollar for a long period of time and they got a nasdaq compliance notice check cap received a notification later granting 180 day extension to regain compliance with nasdaq's minimum bid price requirement the company has now until june 28 2021 to meet the bid price requirement um, and this notice that they got was on December 30th. But if you take a look, since then, the stock has been consistently about $1. On June 5th, the stock was about $1. June 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. Within next 5 to 6 business day, if the stock remains about a dollar price and trades about a dollar price, it regains the Nasdaq compliance. And that will uh, boost the confidence in the shareholders. Um, and the investors so that could be another catalyst where the stock can gain some momentum get it get back into the, to the limelight and if the volume spikes once again i believe the stock will go higher instead of going lower because there are a couple of more catalysts that i'm going to share with you as well the analyst recommendation in january three of the analysts are saying it's a buy so the recommendation is buy it was by in December, as we all noticed in my previous video, all three analysts are saying a buy. Now, there is no sell, hold, or underperform rating or recommendations from the analyst. In addition, the average stock price that analysts are saying is $1.75 that you also can notice right here that the price uh, one year target is $1.75 and right now the stock is trading at $1.66 even though it gets Nasdaq compliance the stock may remain about $1 so if you get an opportunity to buy this stock around $1 $1.40 might not be a bad price to hold it for the long term the stock could be as high as five dollars if they gain the fda compliance in 2021 it's a long-term investment if you want to invest in this stock if they gain the nasdaq compliance that's going to spike the stock one of the other catalysts they announced that uh, they have submitted the id application on november 18th for the pivotal study of C-Scan. Continuing, continuing the preparation of the US pivotal study includes the progress in establishing the supporting device manufacturing supply chain and quality controls, while initiating the substantial expansion of the clinical data set on the average risk patients at leading Israeli sites. Now, IDE submission continues to be a major milestone towards the intentions of our US pivotal study, and that's what the announcement made by their CEO. So if they get this approval, that's another thing that can boost the confidence from the shareholders and the stock can spike once again. Um, the regulatory approval for marketing in EU and the Israel re region has been approved. The C-Scan system has received the CE mark and approval from the Israeli Ministry of Health, Medical Devices Division, AMAR, for the marketing in Israel. So the product is 
this is not a concept anymore this is a product in certain region so that may help the company to boost their revenue to stay afloat one of the challenge that the company has is they're spending a lot more into their research and development and their cash heavy company they may run out of cash and that what that is why there could be offer stock indirect offering uh, public offering uh, if the stock spikes up a lot we have seen something similar in BNGO and it could happen with Jack as well. But in a long term, it might be a good thing for the company to stay afloat, to spend more money in marketing, FDA approval, product enhancement, and so on and so forth. Now, if you can take a look at the clinical path in the United States, shared the US pilot study uh, phase where they had completed the pilot study in the US to evaluate safety, usability, and subject compliance of C-scan system. The study was conducted at two sites, the New York University of Grossman School of Medicine and Mayo Clinic. They're both, rep both of these are reputed institutions, especially the Mayo Clinic. They received the positive results from 28 evaluable study subjects. Once again, it's a pretty small number, but still, it's a positive a study that they have been accomplished out of 40 patients that they completed the study on. The primary endpoint was achieved and there is no device or procedure related serious adverse event ported. All the patients underwent the study compiled after the test reporting higher satisfaction with the C-scan system compared to colonoscopy. I want to once again note that this is not an alternative to colonoscopy but it's a pre-check or pre-screening the study also suggested that the agreement between the c-scan and colonoscopy in detection of polyps for evaluable patients consistent with data from the post c approval study the stock is kind of steady it's not I, I wouldn't say the stock went down the stock is kind of steady and it is trading between one dollar and fifty cents and two dollars um, there is a little bit less momentum than it used to have but at the same time it is in a good direction to stay within the compliance notice that they received from nasdaq to stay about a dollar for 10 consecutive days um, if they receive id approval in near future and or fd approval the stock can spike five to seven dollars in no time and that is five to seven x return on your investment. I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence and research. Subscribe to my channel for future videos and hit the like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.